happy Friday. Uh, I got a lot of um, questions last week about the Oasis block. Um, I had some people say, can you reuse it? And I just wanted to address that. So the, no, you shouldn't reuse it. You can reuse it. Uh, like I said, one side has um, dots on it and the other side has the Oasis logo on it. So you should be plugging your flowers into this side, not this side. This is like the water sucky uppy side and this is the flower inny side. So the reason why you can't do that is if you have had flowers for a while and your water is scungy, you are like, why is my water scungy? So that's why we usually suggest changing the water. The reason why that happens is because there are certain flowers that have little tiny hairs on them. And I will show you when we take a closer look in a minute, but some flowers are better for oasis than others. It's sort of trial and error on uh, I can't tell, I mean, I can't list a whole entire list of all the flowers on earth that are good in Oasis and not, which is why we usually don't use it. Um, but if we have to, you want to pick something that has like a clean, sturdy stem, like Lysianthus or orchids. These don't have those little hairs, and then the hairs don't shed into the Oasis, and then the Oasis doesn't hold on to them. Same thing goes with water. Uh, but if you like things that have little hairs, like these ranunculas or Gruber daisies or... Uh, what else has them? That's all I can think of right now. Uh, you don't want to be using those. And things with really thick stems, like this hyacinth, this one isn't the thickest of stems, but it's thick and it's like made up of goopy stuff inside. So when you cut it and you stick it into the oasis, it creates this like big hole. And then if your flowers are moving around and then if you're like, oh, I don't really like it there. And then you go to put it there, like you can do that. You can't, you shouldn't put it back in the same hole. But if you go to put it like very close, then you can break the, like the bridge between those two pieces. And, um, and then it just makes like a really loose thing. And then you end up having all these holes everywhere. So just try not to use things with like ridiculously thick stems. And you'll notice that if you do pull it out, it'll have like a little bit of the oasis there, which kind of proves like why it doesn't drink as well as it does in water. Uh, so if you, uh, hopefully we can pick this up, if you come a little bit closer, then we can take a look at those little tiny hairs that are on the ranunculus. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this, but there's these little fuzzy hairs on here. And same with uh, this guy. This one was a little bit wet and they're a little bit shorter. Some florists actually use like a razor and they shave them um, just to avoid that, but that is a lot of work. And those guys, they break down in the water and then they make your water or oasis turn, uh, turn gross. So just thought I would show you that. So thank you so much for asking questions. I hope that helped clear up a few of the oasis wonders. Um, and continue to ask us questions because it helps us create better content that is more useful for you in the future. So enjoy your weekend. Hillary Miles Flowers is located at 1854 West First Avenue in Kitsilano between Burrard and Cypress Street. 